woman should date and what every woman should want to know. And let me explain to you why. It has nothing to do with me living at my mama's house saving some money. It has nothing to do with me having this pretty skin and straight teeth. It has nothing to do with me being low-key cute or telling jokes. I'm going to tell you why I'm a commodity. It's simply because I still have a job, okay? And I don't just have a normal job. I have a job where I receive free health care, and I can add any woman in here to my benefits. And your co-pays to be only $5. You get a pap smear, mammogram, whatever, and still have enough money to Uber back to the house. Listen to me. Now, I could tell you what I do, but I can't tell you where I do it at. I work at a hospital. Um, I can't tell you which hospital because it's a HIPAA violation. Do y'all know what HIPAA is? Okay, some of y'all do. And if you don't, it's cool. you probably on Medi-Cal. But that's your business. It's cool. It has nothing to do with me. But I'm a receptionist. I work in the pediatric department. You know, I check in the little kids. And what I do notice is that, you know, especially my people, black folks, let's start bringing our kids to the doctor. Like, black, we don't really believe in bringing our kids to the doctor until our kids are pretty much halfway dead. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. My mom from Mississippi, they believed in home remedies. Like, my mom from the South, she believed in gargling with warm salt and water no matter what was wrong with me. Anybody ever done that? <laughs> you got a sore throat, uh, get in there, gargle with some warm salt and water. I was having relationship issues. My mom said, uh, both of y'all get in here, uh, gargle with this warm salt and water, and go back outside and pray about it. That was <laughs> I broke my ankle. I knew I was going to have a cast. My mom said, uh-uh, baby, uh, hop on in here, hop on in here. Uh, you see that salt, you see that water? Uh, gargle with it and spit it on your ankle. That was my mama. So working at the hospital, I know there's different nationalities treat their kids different. Latinos, I don't know if they're in here, but I love Latinos. Mexicans, I love them. They're the most supportive group of parents I've ever seen. Mex Hispanics, they come to the doctor, they bring one child to a doctor's visit, and it'd be uh, 57 family members bringing one child. It's like a quinceanera at the hospital. Trust me, they don't even know what's wrong with the child. This Hispanic father came in the other day. I was like, hey, sir, hey, what's wrong with your child? He said, I, I, I don't know, but my, my, my baby's been coughing for like one, two, uh, three years now. I, I figured it's time. I'm like, wow, three years? But it was a whole family of them. I loved it. White parents, I don't know if y'all in here, but white parents, let me tell you something about them. I love white parents because those the uh, the most emotional group of parents I've ever seen. White parents come to the doctor, they in more pain than the child that they bring. And listen, this white mother came in crying, so emotional. Oh my God, excuse me, sir, is this urgent care? I said, yeah, ma'am, this is urgent care. What's wrong with your child? <laughs> my baby sneezed today. I was like, wow, once, yes. I said, you have a $5 copay. She said, here's 100, keep the change. I said, wow, white parents care. Black parents, totally different, man. I, no, this black mother came in just like this. I'm going to tell you how she came in. I'm not making this up. She was like this. Come on. Come, you better be sick, too. You know I ain't had no more sick days. You better be sick. Is this urgent care? Yes, ma'am, this is urgent care. Uh, what's wrong with your child? Tell her what's wrong with you. Oh, you can't talk all of a sudden now, huh? Anyway, he say his ear hurt. Okay, um, is, is, is that an earache, ma'am? I don't know what it is, but he's been on that iPhone all day. His ear must not be hurting that bad. Okay, ma'am, um, it'd be a $5 copay. $5? Okay, what does that come with? No, ma'am, that's, that's, that's to see the doctor. Okay, well, you need to bill his father. He don't do nothing. He on his plane anyway. He don't do nothing. I'm like, ma'am, uh, uh, we don't bill anymore. Well, how am I supposed to fix my baby's ear, sir? Uh, ma'am, calm down. Um, Gargle with this warm salt and water. Hey, ma'am, my name is Chris Snee. Y'all been great. God bless each and every one of y'all. Follow me on social media. It's Chris Snee. Have a good night.